say it's just him and Erster that are intended to get value out of that Ant Matrix and Shockwave got ruined cross map there. Uh, Edison with the damage boost. They're gonna have to change, man. This ain't it. This is not it. I mean, at this point though, uh, is it even worth changing? Well, you mean you just want to go next? Well, uh, well, look, I mean, 75% on the point. The duplicate there towards Ash. Shockwave just sort of lets that one go. And Dalton gets in behind. That's a good connection with the EMP. There's a chance here for the Titans now. They're going to take the point back uh, with Edison and Hawk sort of being out of the mix already. KSA stays safe. And, uh, defense Matrix when it was required. Bob is thrown out by Shockwave, so he gets alt value there. But still, the rain don't use their ultimates. I mean, they, they're sitting on every... Too big of a hill to climb. Thank you for Titans. Composition didn't look great. They per persisted with it. They got ultimates. They won the fight with those, but when the Atlanta Rain had a chance to come back with all they built up, they really, you know, what would be heroes they're definitely known for. Yeah. Yeah. That looked great to start with. Shockwave's able to find two quick kills on the McCree here, and he might have a chance to have big impact in this series, finding his third now, and he's looking for that Tracer of Edison. Yes, uh, th this isn't, like, uh, I, I feel like the other teams are running an Ash or a Widow. It'll be a dead eye here from the high ground. He gets booped back. Oh, oh, I thought it was going to line him up into a great spot. He still gets away with it, though, Matt. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Kind of felt like he could have got knocked off the map there, but still gets a big dead eye. And Elena Rain, uh, they're trying to make this composition work. This Edison Dragon Blade now as Pulse Bombs are getting rid of Immortality Fields. Both those abilities are down, but Shockwave still controls the high ground, and Dogman can't do a thing about it. Supercharger, I'll take that as well. Thanks for coming. Shockwave now in position to flank with a flashbang and cause a lot of problems here for Hawk, who tried to get a Gravitic Flux off. He did get rid of KSA. Hawk gets a late accretion. Can't finish Shockwave, but Edison is there to get the job done. This is getting pretty close now. It's going to be Edison trying to deal with Dalton on the point of recall his force from the ladder. Dalton backs away into the room, and now Wrecking Ball joins the fray. A lot of health here for Shredlock to work with, but he's missing his wingman. Dalton is out of the picture, and now Edison and Erster try to make short work of the Wrecking Ball. Thank you. Edison is going to be responsible for keeping his team alive. The rally comes out from Master here, Matt, and the Rain are going to have one more shot at it, but they've lost Erster already. Yes, yeah, Shockwave comes back on the Doomfist here, just looking for like the quick one-shot kills as we have a, a Wrecking Ball come in from Gators. That'll be Rally coming in from Car Car and the Titans. I would have pressure Master away from the point there. The Shield couldn't keep the Finn uh, away, I guess, or keep him on towards the point. And now Gator's gone down as well. In the Vancouver Titans, they exploit Atlanta Rain going without hit scan and this weird Genty trace the die DPS again. So the, the logic has to be big halts with dashes and burst damage can take players out through this. Let's see how it plays out here. Immortality field for Dogman is down. Shockwave gets rid of him. Dalton, okay, he's aware that Erster is sort of whizzing overhead, but uh, Shockwave is in at such a safe spot. I, I mean, he's dealing with two flankers and he's still chilling in the back. Uh, I gotta say, the Titans have done a great oh. job. Uh, <laughs> great job keeping Shockwave. Erster, but it doesn't really allow them to deal with Shockwave the way they'd like to. The same thing's just happened again. Dogman has gone down to Shockwave. I don't think he even had a chance, by the way, to deploy an immortality field in that fight. Any fight where your Batiste dies and not being able to put a drone out is not a good one. Yeah, is that'll be uh, it does take Shredlock a little low, but the rain looked no closer to taking the point than they were earlier on. Okay, Fortify was used, so that means Shredlock does get lifted up in the air, and Ursa now is able to clean up these kills. The rain get themselves back in the driver's seat here, where they've given over about 80% of capture. Yeah, and, and they give up the count. Manning the bashes on Ursa, making it difficult. We'll see if he can do it again. Here it is. Ursa with the blade. Everyone's walked out of the immortality field. Well, got destroyed anyway. Rule fan, he's field both down now, and Ursa's able to do some work with the Dragon Blade. Now the rain, where they feel like they can actually sort of decide when the fights start, looks so much better. Edison yeah. just won if you won Dalton into next Tuesday. And now the rain are going to eat Goodles down. That was Dalton's pulse bomb uh, that necessitated it. And that's beautiful from Edison. Just perfect. Gets rid of Rolf there. And Shockwave can't do anything. Now the rain are firing. Now they're steamrolling. And the Vancouver Titans are sent reeling and packing. On the map of Oasis. Yeah. That off-angle Sigma of KSA on that left side. Yeah, this is annoying. Edison has to try and find a way to do it himself. And he just gets the solo kill. First, the, the Sigma down. And there are not many heroes in this game that can just do that to a Sigma. That's, that, that's how, nasty. how many other heroes can do that to a Sigma? None. Actually, I don't really think there are any. I was so wrong. And look how quickly that decided to do. Looks like they're trying to go take some control on the bridge. They're going to send Bob directly to the point uh, to try and contest. We'll have a... A bit of a bob off That's here clever. is uh, Dalton actually is Bob's way more effective because his Bob actually knocks Baby Bays up into the sky as uh, this fight looks to be all Vancouver.
Uh, it looks like the Bob was also benefiting from the supercharger there. Uh, I'm not sure either way. It just, it just ruined Atlanta's one. And that's how you count everybody up in the sky. Immortality field, you don't get any kills off of the back of it directly. But now Atlanta pushes with a supercharger up to that high ground. Okay, this might get turned around. No, Dalton, he's in a great spot to slow up the rain. Getting rid of Baby Bay and Edison uh, in very short order completely took the wind out of the sails from Atlanta. Yes, but when the Bob gets to the point, they all set up at the choke and they're able to get a bunch of damage down with a dynamite. It'll be Car Car using the rally, trying to keep everybody alive here Not again. on the point. As Dalton! It looks like they're able to turn it. That is absurd! What a gigantic dynamite hit in the corner and... Oh man, I mean, Edison has got to be uh, got to be reeling after that one. He was looking for the one. Copy Sigma gets a flux. Hawk has one of his own though now as well, but it's a fortified treadlock that just takes the hit and stays in the corner, and the Titans are in the stall. Yeah, as they're just trying to keep Shredlock alive any way they can. Rolf there as well. Immortality Field comes down. KSA out of the spawn. Big pile driver. Uh, I don't know though if they're going to be able to extend this through the supercharger. KSA has to roll off of the point. That'll be the Atlanta rain taking this push up now. Dalton has to recall fairly early and a big dynamite hit onto the Titans. He's going to keep not us, but Shockwave, he finds it first kill. Hanzo, is he paying off already? Somehow he's able to dodge the accretion and stay pretty much unharmed in that corner for now. And we haven't seen many teams play this the way that the Titans did. Uh, in, instead of what a lot of teams do, is they'll have like the, the Hanzo. Oh, those are things on the off angle. I don't think you. Okay, he actually pops back up here, so they don't really see the bob coming, but that's the dragon strike. Look, when it gives they you get a kill. With it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you're just trying to use it to get that high ground control, but now you find a kill as well, so Dalton can play from the flank. He maybe, uh, yeah, could have recalled a little bit earlier if that was available for him. He goes down still. Good start for the fight for the Vancouver Titans. Edison's forced to back out. Now he's going to get chased down. It really looks like the KSA wants to complete that kill. In doing so, though, the uh, Titans lose Rolf, and that Dragon Strike ultimately doesn't give them the point. I was going to say, they're, they're not going to get anything out of this. Uh, it's a little bit too late for it to make much of a difference, and the Titans just had too many good ultimates, high-value abilities to use. Here's the stall. So Gator wants to sit back in that corner and not really leave until reinforcements properly arrive. With Shockwave going down to Baby Bay, there might be something here. Baby Bay has time to type in chat. Not really sure how, <laughs> because he's still in the middle of a fight. He types WOW, and WOW is right. Mate, that's not good for him. He doesn't want to be there, but good immortality field. Dogman is taken down. Bob got used. So what does Edison do now? Can he get rid of Shockwave? He can burst the May down before they know it. Shockwave may not have Ice Spot. Okay, no, he's forced to use it. I mean, you can win the fight on the high ground without either of your DPS. So this is pretty much over. The Atlanta Rain are looking like they're going to take map two away. And the Ash play from Baby Bay, absolutely sublime. Nine final blows, three deaths. Edison looking excellent as well on the Echo. Able to blow up that Sigma. KSA oh. never had free reign, and the Atlanta Rain go up 2-0. This looks like, yeah. seems like the kind of guy that goes in for this sort of machismo uh, approach. It's not for everybody, I can oh. admit. Uh, and, and the fight's not over. It'll be rally here for the Atlanta Rain as the Bob of Shockwave buys them enough time to contest. Wrecking Ball now on point. Sherlock, a uh, Shredlock, should I say, has a lot of that adaptive shield available to him. And Rolf comes in with a transcendence. It has to be uh, now. It's a little late, though. It is. I mean, they've lost Shredlock and KSA. Both their main tanks are down, so the value of their transcendence is greatly ah, diminished. But Shockwave he? is on the high ground now. Couple kills. Baby Bay gets him again. Oh, he keeps getting in his head. Too quick. Oh, like he's ignoring. Yeah. Dalton. Not getting the attention he perhaps deserves there, but he may have his, a, a chance to get some revenge. He drops down and gets rid of fire. That immortality field needs to be removed. Baby Bay turns around and gets rid of Shredlock, though. That is big. Now, Noah reads for it. Even though Dalton was in the back line, he couldn't get anything done. I, I, you, you know, one of your top, like, three teams in North America. But, like, where was this rain, like, earlier in the season against uh, some of the other teams? That, you think what this roster well. can contend with? We asked that last year as well. Oh, two from the Bob. 7 a.m. <laughs> Baby Bay just got trucking through the pulse bomb again here. Where does it go? Gets stuck on the wind, oh, on the diva, should I say? KSA gets desuited, but it's not quite enough for medicine there. Looks like Dalton is stepping up. So they use a transcendence here, and they don't exactly get the cart rolling with it. Baby Bay up on the high ground, he'll be able to get away. Edison now on ever, buddy. Edison has another pulse bomb. Dogman's lost that immortality field. Shredlock is very low. He's able to roll away just, but Baby Bay does not let him get away. Edison gets the stick. Kakar is down. And the Atlanta Rain have all the plays that they need. Vancouver Titans, everything is being stripped away from them. Even their dignity at points on this particular map. And they won't even get inside the shuttle phase. But it's the Rain to go to the stars. Uh, incredible series.